Hi, I'm Ron Netter, and welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Netter. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to view Docker container logs. Now, I know that's the top of everybody's list, just ahead of going to the dentist for a root canal. I apologize to, to all dentists. Now, this is going to be a little different. It's not just a matter of going to slash forward slash var forward slash logs. We're going to be a little bit different. I'm going to show you two ways to do it. And this is going to be how you see what the container thinks is happening. If you're a pro with and a seasoned professional with Docker, you've got this. I'm targeting this specifically at those that have little to no Docker experience. The reason I got started into this one is so that I could find the logs because, believe it or not, I ran into a system that Portainer is not supported on. So I'm going to have to know command line way, which is not a bad thing to to know how to do that either. So let's switch over here to hit the right button and go over here. Now I'm already on one of my Docker machines. Now to get to the logs, we'll just go into that particular Docker host. We'll go on under the container and you see this first little icon here that says logs. We'll click that and this shows you everything that's in the log file. Now, if you have a container that's acting up on startup, you'll have to refresh this, but unless you, well, of course, it's automatically got auto refresh turned on. But if you've got that turned off, then you'll either need to turn it on or you'll have to refresh the page. So that's the easy way to, to do that. Well, it's a way. I don't want to say it's easy, but it's a way. So let's go over here now and we'll go to command line. Now, the first thing we are going to do is do a Docker PS. And if you're not used to that command, that's what's going to help get us on the container ID to find out the directory structure we have to go to. So now that we've got that, we will do sudo. And you've got to do sudo because this direct part of the directory structure is going to balk if you don't have sudo out there because of security permissions. So we'll do ls, and that's essentially like the dir command if you're not used to working with Linux a lot. So that's why you've got ls, forward slash var lib docker containers. Now at this point, I have just portainer on here, so this makes this real easy. So what we're going to do here is then recall that, put a forward slash on it, and then I'm going to come up here and we are going to mark this entire name. And since I'm using putty, all you have to do is go down here and right click, paste. And now we're going to see everything that's in that directory. And let me turn this off here so you can see that a little bit easier. You see all the files that are in there at this point. Now, the one we're concerned about is this one that's json.log. So now what we're going to go do is we'll bring this command up, but before we do anything else, we're going to change the ls to cat. Cat is like doing the type command. That's an easy way to remember if you're not used to that one. And we'll come back all the way to the end of the line. I know I could have done it another way, but old habits die hard. So what we will do is mark or copy the file name, actually, is what we're going to do. And then we'll go down here to the end, paste, and hit enter. And voila, there is your line. So that's another way of looking at it. So if you either Portainer's not working or you make sure that Portainer's giving you the information that you think it is, or you've got a system that Portainer is not running on, well, then this is going to be the way to do it. So this is a very simple thing to do, but it's a very important thing to know how to get into your directory structure. You may not need it a lot, but as a certain credit card company's commercials tagline has been for years it's priceless when you do have to do it and you know what to do so basically it's using the ls command to list the contents of a directory so you can drill down to where you need to be and then changing that ls to a cat so you actually type that file to the screen and with that you're you're set to go you're going to be able to look at log files so if you do have something that isn't acting right you're going to have a very quick way of looking at the log files, whether it's with Portainer or if it's with the command line. So we've covered how to do it command line. We've covered how to do it with Portainer. So you've really got the best of both worlds to do it. 
Well, now you've seen both ways of how to do this. If you're watching this on YouTube and you see, you'll now see videos to the right or to the left of me, to our next steps to one, this one you've just watched or other content that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. If this video helps you or provides value, please click on the like button, thumbs up. If you haven't already clicked on the subscribe to the channel button, please click on subscribe and enable notifications and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.